Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about performing calculations using the order of operations. So, order of operations. Well, a few things we want to touch base first, okay? Exponential notation. Good thing to note here. Exponential notation. Okay, so a lot of times we'll see stuff like this a to the n power. What that really means is a times a times a times dot 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 times a, and there are n factors of it. So that's a good thing to note. So for example, 4 squared is really just 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay? Okay. Now we have the base and we have the exponent. So the base here is at a, and then the n is what we call our exponent. Our exponent. So these are little terms to kind of get you ready for this. So we have the order of operations. Order of operations is a big key here. Order of operations. Okay, and now we always, um, we'll see with the order of operations, you'll hear something called PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS, okay, what they stand for, P is our parentheses, E stands for our exponents, M is multiplication, and division for the D, A is addition, and S for PEMDAS there at the end here is subtraction. Okay. Now notice multiplication and division are on the same line, and addition and subtraction are also on the same line. Okay. Now one thing when we do PEMDAS, we use our order of operation here, we have to read left to right in relationship with PEMDAS. Okay. So always comes first is parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction, but again we read left to right. Okay. So it's hierarchy first. Then as we go down, left to right within it. So if there's multiple multiplications, we would read left to right there. Okay? Okay. So let's just kind of practice a few here. Okay? Well, let's go to the first one. Um, a. And we have 3 times 2 squared minus 4 times 6 plus 2. Okay? Order of operations tells us that our first thing we want to do is, within each parenthesis, simplify. So, first parenthesis we see, 3 times 2 is 6. Keep the square there, minus 4 on the outside. Now look, inside of this parenthesis we have 6 plus 2. Now addition is one of the last parts of our list here for PEMDAS, but since it's within the parenthesis, we do that first. 6 plus 2 is 8, and there we have it. All right. 6 squared. Let's go exponents next, okay? Exponents is our next step. Well, go down. Nothing really simplified within the parentheses, so exponents, again, next. 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 8. Next, as we go down, there's no more exponents. Multiplication and division. Well, multiplication right here, right? 4 times 8. So 4 times 8, we have 32. Then we have 30. 6 out here. Lastly, last operation is subtraction. 36 minus 32 is 4, and now we're done. Okay? So let's go through another uh, another example here. Let me go ahead and erase this so we have some more space. And for this one, I'm going to write it out. We have 5 squared minus 4 over 7 equals the square root of 11 minus 
I'm sorry, not equals, <laughs> minus the square root, not equal to, different types of problems here, minus the square root of 11 minus two. Now, pause this video right now, see if you can solve it yourself, go through your steps, and then follow along with me. Okay, so the first step here, okay, what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna, this square root is really kind of like a parenthesis with an exponent, right? We know square root is taking something to the one half power if we put parentheses around it. That's where this is tricky. So we need to simplify within that square root first. So five squared minus four over seven on the outside, and then just kind of leave that as b, and we have square root here. 11 minus two comes out to be nine. From there, Let's go simplify, let's simplify that square root. We have an exponent now, okay? So before this was kind of like a parenthesis. Now we have exponent, remember one half power. And so that's gonna be, well, square root of nine is three. So we bring down the five squared minus four over seven, okay? Now five squared, again, we can. that's another exponent. We can uh, simplify that. So five squared is 25 minus four over seven minus three. This is where it gets a little tricky, okay? At first, you wanna say division first, and yes, you can divide into each one of these, sure, but the operation really tells us that this 25 minus four needs to happen first, that subtraction, okay? You can imagine like there's parentheses there. 25 minus four is 21 over seven minus three. Now, next is division. 21 divided by 7 is 3. So we have 3 minus 3. And our final answer here is just 0 because of subtraction. And so there we have it. Our final answer is 0. Did you get that? <laughs> let me know below if you went through this and actually you got it before me. All right. Let me erase this here and go on to the next one. We have 6 minus the absolute value of 5 minus 8 plus three times, in parentheses, four minus one, okay? All right, well, one thing with the absolute value, it's like a parenthesis, okay? It has the same standard, if you will, same hierarchy there. So we have to treat that within as a parenthesis first. So six comes down. Oh, pause it here. See if you can solve it first. All right, six comes down, parenthesis, five minus eight, minus three, plus three times my next parenthesis, four minus one being three. All right, keep going. Now, let's simplify this. Six minus, absolute value of negative three is a positive three, okay? Remember, it's a distance from zero. Then we have plus here. And well, there's nothing really to simplify, right? There's no parenthesis part here. We can't simplify within the three. So to save face here, we'll leave it as such. Now we can deal with multiplication next. All my parentheses are done. There's no exponents, so multiplication. Now six minus a positive three, I can write like that. But multiplication here, three times three, nine. All right, next we have subtraction and addition and we read left to right here. So why don't we do this? Six minus three comes first, that's a three, and we'll bring down the nine. Three plus nine is 12, and so my final answer here is just 12. Did you get it? Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's do another one. So this one's a little tricky. We have 14 minus three times two over two times five minus three squared, okay? We want to simplify this. So again, we look down PEMDAS, we don't see any really parentheses, but we do see an exponent. So let's go deal with that first, okay? So 14 minus three times two over two times five minus three squared, which is nine, okay? Then from there, we keep on going. Let's put a little equal sign. 14 stays where it is, let's do multiplication. Three times two is a six, and two times five, the next multiplication is a 10. And then we have a minus nine. So now, we kind of think of the numerator and denominator as its own little parenthesis. We have to simplify that first before we can divide. 
So 14 minus 6 is actually next, and if you need to see it like this, you can, it might help you. 14 minus 6 is an 8, and 10 minus 9 is a 1. This simplifies, well, pretty easily. 8 divided by 1 is 8, and there we have our answer. Okay? All right. We got one more for you here. So let's erase this and see if you can get this last one. 7 times 5 times 3 minus 2 bracket 6 minus 3 minus 4 squared plus 1. Okay? Now brackets are a lot like parentheses. Same rules apply. Okay? So let's go first. Let's deal with what's inside our parentheses. Okay? So 7 on the outside, but in our parenthesis here, 5 times 3 gives us our 15. Minus 2 times, now we're going to deal with in this bracket first, but within that bracket we have another parenthesis. So let's deal with that inside one first. 6 minus 3 is a 3, minus 4 squared, plus 1. Okay? Now next, we see within this bracket we have an exponent so we kind of it kind of makes another subset of our PEMDAS so we have 7 times 15 out here minus 2 times well 3 minus 4 squared which is 16 plus 1 now we have another parenthesis we need to simplify which is that bracket so bring everything else down and inside that bracket 3 minus 16 is a negative 13 now brackets are usually used to help when you look at it, um, parentheses, and if you have a lot of parentheses here, it gets kind of cluttered, so brackets are kind of used there, but you can convert a bracket to a parenthesis or vice versa anytime. Usually it's bracket to parenthesis. Okay? So let's keep going. We have 7 times 15 here, minus, we have a parenthesis, let's do with that multiplication, okay? And actually, let me actually, let's do both multiplications together, why not? Sorry, I got ahead of myself. 7 times 15 is a 105 minus. Now, we have a minus 2 times a negative 13. Negative times a negative is a positive, right? The multiplication going on here. And 2 times 13 is 26. And then we have a plus 1. So now we have addition across the board, okay? So 105 plus 26 plus 1 comes out to be a 132. And we added them all up, and there we go. There we have it, okay? So if you found this video helpful, please comment and like and subscribe. And I uh, hope you learn something from our order of operation using PEMDAS. Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com.